Hey everyone, Civ out of Future here. Today I want to take a look at the Arturia V Collection Synthesizer Collection. Now you might look at this uh, time and think, wait, isn't this video a little bit short to cover all of the V Collection? After all, it's 24 synthesizers, to which I will say uh, it is. And there will be a follow-up uh, series of videos covering all the individual synthesizers in more detail. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, this video specifically is about the overall value and whether or not the V collection is a good collection for you to buy as someone who already owns uh, some software or, or someone just getting into software synthesizers uh, in general. So I made a ranking of all the synthesizers in the V collection. Now uh, this ranking is based on uh, ease of use, sound quality, uh, how unique it is, so how few other synths there are replicating the same thing, uh, usability on a UI front, and usability on a more uh, musical front, so the sort of sounds you can get from it, the versatility. Uh, you do have to keep in mind that I am a synthesizer oriented player, so uh, you'll see that a lot of the not synthesizer stuff is already declassed from the start. So this doesn't mean uh, these plugins are no good, it's just that for me they are uh, a bit underwhelming and hard to uh, find a use for. So if you're really into, uh, for instance, the organs and stuff, I would definitely uh, suggest you look out for someone who's more into that sort of playing style or those instruments to get a good opinion about the synthesizers and these organs uh, for your musical needs. Um, to start off, the pricing is 499 US dollars, uh, that's the regular price. I bought it with a cross grade during one of their sales, so I actually paid I think it was roughly 30% of that price after all the discounts. Um, I would suggest looking out for discounts or if you already own Arturia uh, software, check out their pricing. If you log into their website, you'll see an updated price for your cross grade options. So that's something to look out for. Um, without further ado, let's take a look at the rating and take a look at my general thoughts. So if you take a look at my general rating, as I said before, you'll see that a lot of the organs and piano stuff is uh, rated pretty low. If you want to know my exact opinion and stance on these VSTs, you'll have to wait a little bit till I bring out the individual reviews of every single plugin, which will be quite a job, but we'll get there. So just hang in. If you look at the ranking, you'll see that nine of the plugins have been ranked above a C rank. I would say a C rank is um, pretty much the lowest. I would probably use it ranking for me. Anything below is probably something I would not be using on a daily basis. And even C rank would be one of those things you'll use occasionally. Again, for a more in-depth justification of these ratings, wait for the individual plugin reviews, which will be landing pretty soon. So um, in general, there is quite a lot that is very interesting to use, but there's also a lot that probably isn't all that interesting to use. So from a, a standpoint of someone who already owns a lot of VSTs, already probably owns a few synthesizers, is this package worth it? I would say on an individual basis, so all the separate plugins are probably not all that interesting to be very honest. The presets of all these plugins are extremely good, they are top notch quality and great fun to use. Um, but overall the UIs can get very annoying very fast, especially with the bigger um, synthesizers, they are just not that much fun to use uh, with a mouse and keyboard. 
maybe if you're going to use an Atoria controller, it would be easier to use because there is a preset option for their controllers and I would really love to ch check them out. But sadly, I don't own an Arturia controller. Uh, if anyone at Arturia wants to change that, feel free. But for the time being, I would say UIs are definitely one of the weak points of almost all of these uh, plugins. Um, on the bright side, as I said, presets are amazingly good and the sound quality is very good. I can't judge it against the original uh, synthesizers. I have seen side by sides and in general, they seem to come pretty close to the real deal. So if you are going specifically for the sounds of specific synthesizers, this would be an interesting plugin set. But I think there's something uh, else that makes this very appealing as a collection. And that's the Analog Labs. Now, the Analog Labs is something you can uh, get as a standalone VST. And if you get it that way, you get all the presets and you can play all the presets and you get limited control over the VSTs. So you have a few parameters you can tweak. Now the beauty of the V collection is that you get all the presets, you get all the, the quick settings you can tweak, but you can also open up every single uh, plugin synthesizer to really make those fine adjustments to really suit the presets to your taste. Uh, there's a good reason I place it at S rank. I think that for the Arturia V collection, Analog Labs and the fact that you can alter all the settings of all the synthesizers and all the presets is the main reason to buy this pack uh, over anything else uh, in this sort of thing. Because um, odds are you will not use the individual synthesizer plugins that much because there are alternatives which I think are cheaper and more versatile because every uh, plugin in this pack is one synthesizer. Uh, meanwhile, you can buy Arturia pigments uh, or pigment, Arturia pigment for $199 and it's currently on sale as well for $99. And this synthesizer will give you waveform, it will give you a virtual analog, it will give you sampling, it will give you FM, all in one plugin with a easier to use UI and more flexible mod options. Also a great collection of presets. So I would say that in general, I would think that Pigments is the better plugin to pick up. Uh, also if you're a beginner, because if you are a beginning uh, music maker, you will probably want to have access to a lot of different types of synthesis, which Pigment offers, uh, which V Collection does not really offer, because most synthesizers are subtractive synthesizers. So it's uh, a lot of the same kind of synthesis. Uh, so that's a big up for pigments. Also, you'll have some money left to buy some other tools or maybe some effect plugins, which will give pigments an even wider range of sounds. So I would say Arturia pigments is a better option, especially for the money than uh, the V collection. That being said, the V collection is a really nice package. And again, if you're really into getting very specific sounds from very specific synthesizers, I would say I would recommend it, although you probably have to wait for a sale to really make it something you can justify. And uh, as said, the Analog Lab definitely is something that I will be using a lot in my music making because it's very easy to find good presets. And if you find a nice preset, you can very easily, because you have this editing ability, alter it to your personal taste. So that's my overall feelings about the Arturia uh, V collection. Uh, please subscribe so you can see the upcoming videos where I go a little bit more in depth into all the individual instruments in this collection. I hope this video has helped you a little bit to make up your mind about the Arturia V collection. And if there are any questions, just leave them below in the comments and I'll get back at you. Okay, I'll see you around. Have a nice day.